Hey everybody, it's the end of the work week and we're excited because it's 4th of July weekend and we're headed up to Central Tennessee for a big 4th of July bash. And this weekend's all about the whole hog, the Texas style brisket, and I'm gonna introduce you to a true barbecue icon. So stick around. Hey everybody, Robert here with Silly Barbecue Life. Today is the 3rd of July, and Lex and I are actually up here in Mulberry, Tennessee in the south central part of the state to celebrate the 4th of July weekend. Now, if you watched a video we did a few weeks ago called Barbecue Practice in the Tennessee Hills, we're at that same ranch this weekend. Now, first thing today, I wanna to start by introducing you to a guy that's considered by many to be a true barbecue icon. So let's go meet him now. Hi, I'm Byron Chisholm. I'm the uh, creator of Bad Byron's Butt Rub. Butt Rub's been on the market 24 years now. It started in 1997. And I was uh, really green. Uh, I had never had a business before and I was in love with barbecue and this, this product just kind of evolved and I started traveling to promote it. And uh, it's really grown and we're real proud of it. And uh, barbecuing is a, a passion. That's how we got into this. And uh, Butt Rub was just basically uh, an expression of me liking to cook and loving to barbecue. Uh, after I've been barbecuing for a while, and you know, it's only natural to create your own way of doing baked beans and your own sauce and your own everything. And then as, when I wanted to give it away as gifts, it, it was just awkward putting something in a plain jar with no nothing, just a plain jar. I said, I gotta have a pig on there or something. So I got someone to draw me a pig, you know, and basically the same pig we have now. But it wasn't for commercial purpose. It was just a personalize something I'm gonna give away. I was really more proud of my sauce and baked beans than I was, uh, I didn't think much about the rub, it was just a seasoning plan, you know. But I named everything, and butt rub uh, was the one that everybody wanted more of, and you know, and I put that, I, I had the pig drawn up, put it on there, and it looked like it should have been in a store somewhere. And uh, so, I uh, started going to stores, and they tried it, and they wanted more and they liked it and I'm like, I might just be on to something here. So that's how I got started. It was uh, an expression of me loving, loving to cook like a lot of people, uh, me loving to barbecue like a lot of people. So we're here uh, celebrating the 4th of July this weekend. We have an old traditional brick pit southern cooker that we're doing a whole hog on. It's going to cook about 18 hours, shoveling coals. Um, we're celebrating America's heritage with America's original cuisine. Uh, also, we have a Texas brick pit. We'll be doing traditional Central Texas uh, brisket. So we're we're doing taking the two oldest traditions in barbecue uh, with the traditional pits and cooking the traditional foods, and that's how we're celebrating the fourth, along with of course music and friends and neighbors and family. So uh, life life is good here in uh, Central Tennessee. Now, many people that get to visit Byron's Ranch here in Mulberry, Tennessee, refer to it as a barbecue playground or a barbecue theme park. And when I show you all the cookers that Byron has here, you'll know why they call it that. Now, let's get out and start enjoying the weekend. Hey, Robert. Check out this mountain of bacon. Happy birthday, America. There you go. T. Ray wasn't joking. Trophy. Big American birthday cake. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so it's the day before 4th of July and we're hanging out here. And uh, if you can see down there, we've got the hog cooker ready all prepped and then this is the cooker we're going to cook brisket on but yeah getting excited we're gonna have some good barbecue this weekend we've got the hog pit prepped uh this is the original above ground pit as far as barbecue goes so it's the oldest above ground pit design there was uh the original barbecue with these pits were whole hogs. That's, that's how it was done. And uh, it's still done to this day. So that's what we're doing for July 4th. 
uh, as a token to our history, our barbecue history, uh, our heritage method. In fact, we've got, we have a heritage breed hog that we are uh, cooking. It's about 170 pounds. It'll cook probably 18, 20 hours. And uh, so if somebody will be working the shift all night, burning the wood, shoveling the coals, keep it at a real steady temperature, it'll be about 220. And when you say someone out here, you're talking T-Ray, right? We got him. This guy. We got a team. Yeah. We got strong members and we got weak members. Yep. We know about the weak no, members. I'm on the all-star. You're the all-star team? All -star team? Actually, all, all the right. weak members didn't get invited back. <laughs>
he's he knows how to shovel a lot of different things we're i think we're both delirious now because we're not used to staying up this late but hey good morning everybody uh it's saturday morning happy fourth of july i'm out here at the butt ranch uh here at byron chisholm's place the hog's been on all night looking pretty good probably a little ahead of schedule on that let's go ahead inside and talk to byron because he's about to get uh, brisket trimmed up, seasoned, and ready to go on the cooker. All right, hey, it's early Saturday morning. I'm here with Byron down in the kitchen, and he's getting brisket ready. The goal is 6.30 now. I've got all the briskets basically trimmed. All I gotta do is put some seasoning on there. So we're, we're ahead of the game, pit's ready. The Texas pit is, I like it to be as close to 300 as I can get it. If I can keep it steady at 290, I'm happy about that. We're getting this brisket ready, it's just plain meat here. There's no injections, no marinades. I'm going straight rub. And I'm doing a light coat of this. This is a fine grind. I don't want to coat it too heavily. I'll, I'll tell you more why in a second. This kind of gives it our, you gotta use butt rub, man. I, I want to be, that's right, we're at the butt I range. I want to be frog. <laughs> that's right. So this is coarse pepper, kosher salt, about half and half. Very traditional. Uh, to this day, most of the best restaurants in Central Texas, this is how it's, this is how it's done. The purpose, the, one of the purposes of the coarseness is it attracts the bark. If you got a real smooth surface, it'll just kind of fly over. But if it's got something to land on, it, it, it helps build the bark. Bit time, baby. All right. Six hours before we wrap it. It's gonna be three hours fat up, three hours fat down, then wrap it. And it'll probably take about two more hours from there in the, in the uh, butcher paper wrap. And that's it, we'll rest it for two or three hours before we slice it and it should be, uh, should be very enjoyable. It will be very enjoyable. Welcome to the Butt Ranch. My name is Byron Chisholm. I'm glad to have all y'all out. To the Butt the rough Ranch Barbecue Theme Park, Mulberry, Tennessee, by God. I'm so grateful to have everybody out here because we're celebrating Independence Day. Got a lot of friends here that have come and they've spent, you know, we've got this compound, all right? And people come and they and we hang out and we cook together and everybody shares in their love of cooking and, and fellowship uh, to produce this meal to celebrate July 4th. And that's why we're here, we're celebrating with food and music. we made it back home and sadly it's the end of another holiday weekend yeah but what a great weekend we had we do want to thank Byron for inviting us out and having us take part in those 4th of July celebrations we always have a great time out there definitely and if you want more information on all the products that Byron has uh, go check out buttrub.com and I'll also put a link down to his website down in the description and if you have any questions for us, please put them down in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. 
And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that way you know when we post more videos. And we know when this video comes out, it will be after the holiday weekend, but we hope that you and your family had a safe and happy weekend. And we'll see you again soon on another video of Arsley Barbecue Life. All right, bye. Bye.